And we're still in the GSA studio with GSA President Suzanne Malberg Kay. Thanks for staying with us. So for those of you who may not know, Suzanne, actually, this is a family affair for you in a way, right? Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, this is a real family affair, actually through my husband. But uh, my husband's family actually has four generations of GSA members. And as far as we know, this is the only family in the GSA with four generations. And it started out with his grand, my husband's grandfather, who was the state geologist of Iowa and the dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Iowa. And he was a participant in the 50th anniversary of GSA. And his son, Marshall Kay, then uh, became a very famous GSA member. And I will be talking about him in my presidential address. And he won the Society's Penrose Medal, which is one of the top medal of the society. And then we come to my husband, who is a geochemist and is actually very well known for his early work on the ocean ridges and geochemistry. And the fourth generation is then my daughter, who is actually more in atmospheric science and so showing the continuation of the evolution of science in the family. This just runs through the blood, huh? It runs through the blood, and my brother-in-law actually won the Day Medal, which is the other large medal of the society. Well, this must be a really exciting time for you and your entire family then, right? Yeah, so. it, it's exciting. At least, at least I'm doing something different than the rest of them. <laughs> okay, and speaking of presidents, you got a letter from President Obama, correct? Yeah, what yes. Was that this, about? We, we were very excited. We received, the society re received a letter from President Obama. It was a very nice letter. He talked about the importance of geological sciences and the importance of science in, in society. In organizations like this, international relationships and connections are extremely important, right? And what is GSA, how does GSA manage that? Well, geology is really a very international science. And I guess a good example is yesterday morning, one of my first duties in coming to Denver is that was to go down to Pueblo, Colorado, where we put in a golden spike. And uh, these are time markers. There's been a hundred of them selected around the world by in an international commission to mark very important sequences that are used for reference sections. And so this is an example how the history of GSA and the modern situation and all of the international plays together. And GSA actually, it's not our ambition to take over the world, but uh, we run a series of partner meetings with different societies in different parts of the world. The latest one of these meetings was in Chengdu, China in June. It was called the Roof of the World. Previous to that, we had a meeting in Turkey, uh, a meeting that I actually was the convener of was held in Mendoza, Argentina called the Backbone of the Americas, where we talked about the geology from Argentina the tip of Patagonia essentially to the end of the Aleutian Islands and we had people from every country in the Americas. So we, we have a very international mission in terms of cooperating with other societies around the world. And, and, and talk about stepping outside of politics, it really is different once you get scientists working on a u unified goal, right? And, and do you feel that collaboration or do you ever hit uh, a, a wall because of politics? I don't think not with other geologists. I mean, sometimes we have problems crossing borders because of political things, but the geology of the world does not stop at borders. Mm -hmm. The world formed over the last four and a half billion years and it didn't care which country it was in. So I think that geology in a way is a very, very international science. And so that's an important aspect of the whole field. And it's reflected at GSA. We have people working all over the world and they come back to share their adventures. One of the sessions that will be at this meeting is on like the National Geographic Society on exploration. And they're talking about how really geologists were some of the earlier explorers as well. Like John Wesley Powell was one of the founding members and he was the, did the exploration in the Grand Canyon. He's very well known for his work in the Western US. So, Anything else you want to add before we let you go? 
Well, I would like to welcome everybody who's watching this to the meeting and please come and enjoy all the sessions and we're looking forward to seeing you in Vancouver next year.